I'm warning you. I've got a black belt in karate. But I've got a gold star in kissing. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, I hail from back east. Is that right? Let's see if you Easterners know how to dance. Come on, dance! All right. on my spot. I think you have to move back 25 spaces. Don't tell your father what to do. She's right. Move back. <laughs> All right. You wait. Mm -hmm. I'll beat you. I'll get the both of you. Uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, take a card. You gotta take a card. Oh, no. oh come on. Oh, oh relax, Dad. It's just a game. Will you read the card? <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> How can I be dead? I own 35 widgets, 10 widgets in Africa. It's impossible for me to be dead. If the card says you're dead, you are dead. If your father says you're dead, you're dead. Oh, mother. Speaking of dead, how are you doing with the boys? Oh, mother, not again, please. A young girl should not be at home with her parents on Saturday night. There is a man for every woman. How about Harvey Idleton? He seems like a nice boy. Well, I don't think Harvey's interested in me. Why do you say that? I already asked him. <laughs> well, uh, maybe you could find some uh, mature bachelor? Yeah, somebody that's old and desperate. <laughs> now, don't be cruel, Sam. I'm not. I know that someday she's going to make me very proud. But soon, <laughs> before the cards tell me that I'm dead. I'm dead. There's nothing I'd like better than to find someone anyone. Oh, for a romantic encounter, even a fling. <laughs> How about a one-night stand? Now, Sam, don't be so exuberant. We can't expect our daughter to abandon her morals before they've been hatched. Your mother's right. Maybe a two or three-night stand. Give it a chance. I hate you both. It's your turn, Mother. Yeah, will you play, please? I'll play, I'll All play. Right. I think I'm getting a little hungry. Do we have some bologna in the ice box? There is no bologna in the ice box. Nothing. Well, Play and finish the game. What is it? Sure. Your nails wet again? Mm-hmm. Big day tonight. By the way, how are you doing with the boys? That bad, huh? Hey, well, listen. It just so happens that I can fix you up on an absolutely super blind date tonight. Oh, really? What did he look like? Well, he has a great personality. Lisa, don't you remember? I'm the one with the great personality. Yes, you're being too choosy. Well, I remember the last blind date you got me. But he was gorgeous. Oh, yes. All four foot nine of him. Miss Andrews, <laughs> we have our rules. And one of those rules stipulates that all employees of Holly Hudson Conglomerate are forbidden to chit-chat on company time. Yes, Mr. Veamer. 
Please see to it that this episode is not repeated. Now, Miss Detweiler, how are we doing with our inputs and outputs? <laughs> Miss Andrews? Yes. I'm Mr. Jonas. Mr. Jonas. Uh, Mr. Hudson's executive secretary? Yeah. Now, Miss Andrews, I'm going to come right to the point. Mr. Hudson has taken an interest in you, and he's expressed a desire to form a personal relationship. <laughs> Miss Andrews? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I really can't believe that. I'm just an ordinary employee. Mr. Hudson doesn't even know me. I assure you, you are known. And... Are we talking about the same Mr. Hudson? The one that we never see and no one ever talks to? <laughs> Miss Andrews, I see and talk to Mr. Hudson daily. In fact, he's in the building this very moment. Does uh, tonight at 8 meet with your approval? Tonight? At 8? Me and... Him? The both of us together? Well, all right. Miss Andrews, I gave you fair warning, and now I'll have to... Oh, how do you do, Mr. Jonas? I... Well, I, I, I see that you two know each other. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Vanessa here is one of our favorite employees. Yes. Uh, the Rima, isn't it? No, Beamer, sir. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well, Beamer, keep up the good work. Good day, Miss Andrews. Yay. Vanessa, dear, we'll have to have lunch sometime. I'm wanted. I'm a wanted woman. That's <laughs> moving, Vanessa. I'm not moving, Mother. You're moving. <laughs> How do I look? You look wonderful. How do I look? <laughs> you look great. How do I look? Okay. <laughs> All right, now, everybody act casual, because he's going to be here real quick now. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Where do those slobs out the plant hear about this? Sam, you're not going to wear those shoes, are you? What are you talking about? That's my very best pair of steel tip safety shoes. <laughs> Just think, Sam. It's like something regal. Think how Princess Grace must have felt when the prince asked her out. <laughs> Oh, she was probably happy to get out of the acting game, you know, for something steady like being rich. Oh, this is like a magazine sweepstakes, Sam. And our daughter is a winning entry. <laughs> oh, everybody stay calm. Hello? The intro. Oh, oh come in, sir. Hello. Well, come into my humble home. And this is my humble wife. And my name is Sam. But you can call me Sam. Hello, Sam. Now, this is right off the top of my head, and you don't have to give me an answer right off the bat. But, uh, how do you like this for an idea? Take out fondue. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Oh. <laughs> you see, the way I see it is that you'll be the silent partner, and we'll open up a whole string of these places. Now, since I was in the Army, well, the big one, you know, I saw action. <laughs> we'll call it Sergeant Andrews fondue in a basket. <laughs> hey, you know, son, you're all right for a guy that's rich. We've taken care of everything. Her braces are off, her feet were corrected, and she never burns bacon. <laughs> hey, Sam, he's all right for a guy that's rich. <laughs> Lisa Detweiler, your majesty. If you'll just let me explain. Hey, well, what about that uh, business? You know, idea? you're the first man who's ever taken an interest in our Vanessa. That's Detweiler. D E T W E I L E. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Vanessa. Your date? <laughs> Vanessa, I'm Felix. Mr. Hudson's chauffeur. A lousy middleman. <laughs> You won't tell anybody about my idea, will you? No, I wouldn't think of repeating it. <laughs> and now, Miss Andrews, if you'll let me lead the way, your dream date will begin. And I guarantee you, this will be an evening that you will never forget. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, it's kind of romantic. Just like, let's make a deal. <laughs> what do you mean, no weenies in a blanket? What's a wedding reception without them little weenies? Little weenies will not go well with caviar and snails. <laughs> I mean, they might just elope. No daughter of mine is gonna cheat my daughter out of a big wedding. <laughs> Think of the devil. What's he worth? Where did you go? Have some great and simply smashing time. We had champagne and dinner at the billionaire club. Oh, and can... then dancing. And then we took a jet to San Francisco for the theater. Oh, Mr. Hudson really liked. <laughs> Oh, Harvey, he couldn't make it. He couldn't make it? What do you mean, he couldn't make it? Well, he was tied up all evening. He's a very busy man, you know. Oh, the social world is such a strain. You'll have to excuse me, I'm very tired. <laughs> Stood up! Again? She liked it. And just when we were all so anxious to meet him. There goes my fondue idea, just dripping right through my fingers. <laughs> Hello. Now, this is her father. Who? Mr. Jonas? Mr. Jonas? That's Mr. Hudson's secretary. Oh, well, don't mention it. Yes, of course she'll accept the apology. Uh, would you ask Mr. Hudson if he'd care to join us for dinner tomorrow night? What's he saying? He's talking to Hudson. I can't hear him because he's got his hand over the phone. Terrific! Oh. Thank you, Mr. Jonas. Good night. Well, what did he say? Mr. Hudson would like nothing better than to sup with us. <laughs> <sighs> two hours. He should have been here two hours ago. Things are starting to grow in the lasagna. <laughs> you know, he is a very busy man. I'm a busy man, too. But when it's time to chow down, you don't see me dragging my pork. <laughs> Maybe we should go ahead and start on the nut cups. <laughs> Twenty years I've been slaving over a hot lathe, and what have I got to show for it? Steel slivers. <laughs> it's just that I've been feeding and clothing her all these years. Now I'd like to get something out of it. Do I make myself clear? Vanessa, I don't understand why you can't hold on to a man. Hold? I haven't even touched yet. Oh, besides, I just don't care anymore. I'll get it. Hi. Uh, I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought yeah, maybe... Sure, I'd... Lisa, come on in. Oh, thank you. I love your hair. It's not mine. I got it at a swap meet. <laughs> uh, actually, I left my pencil here yesterday, and it's my very favorite pencil. Where is he? Your pencil? Pencil? No, silly, Mr. Hudson. Hey, just forget Hudson, will you? He don't need us, and we surely don't need him. <laughs> the rumor is true. Hudson is just a kid. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait a minute. The kid gave it to me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Rosie. Hey, here's a card. <sighs> Due to insoluble... Insoluble, Sam. <laughs> Due to insoluble problems and unable to join you, hope these flowers lend gaiety to your table. Am with you in spirit, H.H. -H. She has a neat penmanship. She didn't write that. Some clerk did. I don't mind being stood up once, but twice is really too much. I don't care if I ever see him. And besides that, I never want to see him again. <laughs> we'll let you know if he shows up to you. I think it's very nice. Lovely day, isn't it, Vanessa? You know, Vanessa, I've had my eye on you for some time now. I see us as the proverbial two ships that go bump in the night. Vanessa, could you do me a favor, please? Miss Detweiler, must I constantly remind you that we have office rules? 
Now back to your post. <laughs> now, as I was saying, dear. Now, don't mouth off, Herky, because this is an office and we've got to be respectable. Poor thing, Sam. He catch all the broads. <laughs> yeah. I ain't seen so many dressed up people since church the day after the earthquake. <laughs> Who are those disgusting people? Uh, I'd like for you to meet my father, Sam, and his disgusting friend, Herky. <laughs> of course, I didn't mean you, Mr. Randall. <laughs> uh, Dad, exactly what are you doing here? Well, you didn't see Mohammed waiting for the mountain to come to him, did you? Nope, he went right out and took the heavyweight crown. What did he say? Uh, it loses something in translation. Well, you know, since Hudson won't come to see me like he's supposed to, I took time off of my lunch hour to come over here and see him and settle this whole affair about your betrothed hand. My what? Right. And I brought her to all with me in case he didn't want to play ball. I always wanted to smash a big wig. Dad, you just can't barge in and expect to see someone like Mr. Hudson. Yeah, I told you we should have made an appointment. Listen, I come over here to do a job, and there's nothing going to keep me from settling affairs with a big man. Hey, Sam, our lunch hour's up. Holy cow. Foreman will kill us. He can't. The union won't let him. <laughs> How unfortunate. Look, baby, I'll be back. But don't forget, Hudson has got to get my personal okay before he follows up your happiness. Go on, go on. Charming. Now, before we were interrupted, I was about to say that we young rising executives are always on the prowl for assets. And I was hoping... Uh, Mr. Beamer, please, I'm very busy. Call me Laverne. Why would I want to do that? Because it's my name. Oh. Why don't you stop? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to scream. It's just that accidents will happen, no matter how well intended. <laughs> Read it. What? Your hand. My hand? Go away. And with an exclamation point. <laughs> well, Eva, if you'll excuse us. Oh, yes, yes. I must talk to Miss Andrews. Certainly, Mr. Jonas. Privately. We'll talk later. <laughs> Miss Andrews, I'll get right to the point. Mr. Hudson desires another opportunity to take you to... If Mr. Hudson wants to date me, he'll have to ask me face to face. There's no need to get red and puffy. I must admit, though, that your request is highly irregular. Well, I'm a highly irregular woman. Very well, Miss Andrews. If I may use your phone? Use. <laughs> Mr. Hudson, as usual, I'll be brief. Miss Andrews wishes a personal audience. Very well. Mr. Hudson has consented. Please follow me to the penthouse. Jonas and the German Shepherd. You may go in. Hello. Mr. Jonas, I'm Vanessa's best friend, Lisa Detweiler. Yes, Detweiler. Good name. Easy to remember. I'll be brief, Miss Detweiler. How are we doing with our inputs and outputs? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Andrews. I was initially intrigued by your personnel record and character profile. You have those qualities I find commendable. Looks are unimportant. It's the mind, the sympathetic vibrations that are essential in a relationship. I wanted to be with you these past evenings. I hope you realize that. You see, I've never felt like this before. You've touched something within me that I can't explain. You think it would be possible for us to see each other on a regular basis? Oh, well, uh, I think we could work that out, Mr. Hudson. Call me Harley, Miss Andrews. <laughs> and you'll call me Vanessa. Very well, Vanessa. 
How are we doing with our inputs and outputs? <laughs> Oh, miss! Miss! Oh. Would you put the rest in a people bag? <laughs> you mind if I share your towel? Oh, not at all. It's been a wonderful day, Bill. Please don't spoil it. Money for homeless girls. Money for homeless girls. Here's the money. And here's your homeless girl. <laughs> 